Hello students, in this video, we will be learning about binary channel. In this topic, we are going to be, we are going to discussing about the binary channel. Practically, it is easy to analyze the BSC channels, binary symmetry channels, but sometimes in practice, we are coming across with the binary channels with a non-symmetric structure. For example, I have a binary channel. Let's take input symbol 0, 1. You can also call x1, x2, input side x. Output side y, y1, y2, this is 1, 0. And here, what is the probability of this is given? P, 1, 1. First symbol, 1, 1. And this is given as a P, 1, 2. Of course, this is a 1 minus P, 1, 1. We already know. This is a P, 2, 2. This is a P, 2, 1. First notation indicates the in input side. Second notation will be the output side. This is the binary channel we are having. Uh, let's write the channel matrix. What is the channel matrix? Y by X is nothing but P11, P12, P21, P22. So how to calculate the capacity of the binary channel is, for calculating the capacity of a binary channel, we are bringing some auxiliary variables. Let's take some the auxiliary variables Q1, and a Q2. Then how to calculate this is we are having P Q matrix equal to minus H of X. What is that? Let me write. P means the P matrix is P11, 12, 21, 2, 2 into Q matrix Q1, Q2. That is nothing much minus entropy that is p11 log p11 plus p12 the minus already there p12 p21 log p21 plus p22 log p22 from there, derivation is a little bit a complex one, not given. So directly I am writing the capacity of channel. From there, Q1, Q2 calculate. C equal to log 2 power Q1 plus 2 power Q2. Anyhow, basis 2 only. This is the capacity of a binary channel. Clear? Yeah. See the next problem. Find the mutual information and a channel capacity of a binary channel. P of x1 is 0.6, x2 is 0.4, and that is the binary channel given. Binary symmetry means it's easy, but he given is a binary channel. Anyhow, what is the input matrix, sir? Input matrix is 0 0.6, 0 0.4. Channel is given. So, channel matrix, what is y by x? Is nothing but 0 0.8, 0 0.2, obviously. 0.3.7. Now let me calculate for the mutual information. There are two ways h of x minus x by y or h of y minus y by x. Anything you can go. I am going with the first one h of x minus h of y by x. Uh, sorry, h of x by y. h of x minus h of x by y. So h of x I can calculate anyhow. To calculate h of x by y, I need property of x by y matrix. So, so to get that one, or to get the outputs also, let's calculate the joint probability matrix. What is the joint probability matrix x, y? P of x diagonal. That is 0 0.6, 0, 0, 0.4 into this one. That is 0 0.8, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. 0.7. Got my point? Then multiply. 
So what you will get this one? 0.48. This is zero. Next. 0 0.12. Next zero. Next. 0 0.12. Next one will be zero. 0 0.47 sir. 28. You can add all probabilities. Of course, you will also get 1. How to get the output probabilities? Add the columns. 0 0.6, 0 0.4. How to get the input probabilities if you want? Add the rows. 0 0.6, 0 0.4. Now, how to get x by y? Simply divide the columns. Divide here the columns by this P of I. So first one divide with 0 0.6. So what you will get? 0 0.48 by 0 0.6. 0 0.7 as well as that is 0 0.2. Next. This column with this one. So 0 0.3 as well as 0 0.7. Divide this one by uh, point four, point three, yes, correct. So column uh, row wise it will be sorry, column wise it will be equal to one. So first one column divide with this this one, okay. Then uh, it is becoming as a zero wise column wise point six somewhere. Yes, something is missing. Just a moment. 0.48 into 0, 048, correct. 0 0.12, that is 0, correct. This is 0. 4, 3 is 12. 1, 2 only. Next, it will be 0, 8. Next, divide the columns by output properties. Then it is becoming as a 42. So, this is 0.8. 86 are uh, 8, part 8. Why? Because column wise the total probability should be 1. Here row wise the total probability should be 1. <clears throat> so like that you can check. X by Y column wise, Y by X row wise. Now to get the mutual information, I will H of X minus H of X by Y I will take. So how to get H of X minus of probability? Point 0.6 log 0.6 plus 0 0.4 log 0 0.4 like what is x by y there are four elements are you getting my point or not so let me write directly can i directly i can write or if you solve those values the first one i written the values yeah now, first one you will get students, this is nothing but 1.96 bit per symbol. And what about this formula? Anyhow, minus summation j equal to 1 to n uh, m. Input set m symbols we are taking. k equal to 1 to n. Anyhow, 2 by 2 matrix only. Joint probability xj yk into log. Basis to only probability of xj by yk. Write all those. That is minus of first combination. Joint probability, this one, yeah. 0.6 into log. What is that value? x1 by y1, 0.8. Second one is second element. Sorry, this one now. So, 4 element. Ah, what is the second element? 1, 2 into log. Here, what is the second element? 0. 0.3 plus third element. 1, 2 log. Here, third element. 0. 0.2 plus 2, 8 log. Here, last element. 0. So, all are base 2 only students. Solve this one. You will get as 1. You will get. Ah, sorry. These values are. Different, different. One second, one second. One point. This is not one point. Zero point nine seven one. 
here you will get 0 0.786 bit per symbol. Once if we got h of x, h of x by y, then you can write the mutual information, which is nothing but h of x minus h of x by y. Then you will get 0 0.185, 0 0.185, yeah, bit per symbol. Are you following or not? Next, we will see how to calculate the channel capacity. Follow. Yeah, continue. So, next I need to calculate the channel capacity. Na? To calculate the channel capacity, we know auxiliary variables we take in. That is matrix P, matrix Q equal to minus H matrix. Means entropy there. What is the matrix P? This uh, channel matrix only. Q means two auxiliary variables Q1. Q2, ah, this is already minus is there. So 0.8 log 0.8 plus 0.3 log 0.3. Sorry, 0.2 na. Yeah, sorry. Next 0.3 log 0.3 plus 0.7 log 0.7. Got my point? Then I'll send that one. It's an inverse matrix. You already know you can calculate. What is the Q1 value you will get, students? Minus 0 0.6568. Q2 value minus 0 0.9764. Then what is the capacity of a channel C equal to? Capacity of a channel C equal to log anyhow base 2. This is 2 power Q1 plus 2 power Q2. Substitute Q1, Q2 value. Then it's a log of base 2 only. 1.146 you will get. The final value is 0 0.2. Anyhow, bit per symbol. This is a way of calculation of the channel capacity. Send this one, that side, inverse matrix, 2 by 2 inverse matrix. So mathematics are strongly needed in some of the handling of big problems. Especially these type of questions. Possibility is there if they want to ask the tough questions in two marks of gate, especially, or maybe in the ESA conventional. Clear? Yeah. See the next problem. This is a problem on the mutual information. He given some channel. After seeing the channel, what you can write? The channel matrix, conditional property matrix, or can you write the joint property? If you see the diagram, you cannot write the Conditional property matrix because the x1 symbol he given two things only 0.5. The full information is not given. It is a channel with in, uh, input and output, independent inputs and independent outputs. So, what is given is the joint property matrix. Uh, what is that value? x1, y1, 0.25, x2, y2, 0.25, x2, y1. 0.15 next x2 y2 also 0.15 next x3 y1 0.1 x3 y2 also given 0.1 this is the joint property matrix once if we got the joint property matrix students how to get the to get the mutual information i need h of x h of y by x or h of x h of y and uh, h of x y also sufficient we can convert in that manner so how to get the h of x first to get the h of x get the probability matrix how to get the probability matrix add the rows 0 0.5 0 0.3 0 0.2 if you add the rows that will be the input side what is the output side output side means add the columns 0.4 0.5. Obviously, this is also 0.5. You can call them, this is also a not symmetrical. Yeah, it's an independent one, not symmetrical. So, P of X, P of Y, we got. Now, calculate their entropies. What is the H of X is a minus of 0.5 
log 0.5 basis 2 only. 0.3 log 0.3. 0.2 log 0.2. Please calculate. If we calculate this value, what is the h of x value will come says 1.485 bits per symbol. You please calculate. Use the calculator. I already told this is not log 10. It's a base 2. So how to analyze I already given. Next, what is h of y sa? h of y is both are equal probability. Both are equal probability means I can say log 2 base 2 to 3 there are 2 symbols. So 1 bit per symbol. Then I can write the mutual information in a different manner here. What is the mutual information? Mutual information i of x y equal to I can write h of x uh, h of x minus h of x by y. The same thing how I am writing let's see h of x y equal to h of x y equal to h of y plus h of x by y. So h of x by y can be written as a h of x by y can be written as send this term this side or minus of is there x y equal to or you can keep this term this side because that minus also will come. Then what is that? What is that? H of y. Bring in the term that side. So H of x y. Conditional or joint property. Then minus H of x y will come. So H of x, H of y, I already calculated. Got the or get the H of x y. How to get? What is the conditional part? Sorry. What is the joint probability? Summation j equal to 1 to m, summation k equal to 1 to n. If I write in the minus, I can write in the numerator. That is their joint probability into log is anyhow base to p of x, j, y, k. Got my point? So substitute all those. What is that minus of? First one, 0.25 into log 0.25. I already am writing the numerator because so minus. Plus second one, 0.25 into log 0.25. Next third one, 0.15 into log 0.15 plus. Next one, 0.15 into log 0.15 plus. 0.1 into log 0.1, 2.485 bits per symbol, entropy formula, or bit per message also we can call. So substitute all these values there, that is in the mutual information formula. If we substitute, what is the h of x? 1.485 and h of y value? 1 so 2.485 minus 2.485 because h of x y value 2.485 so its value will be 0. Why you got the mutual information 0 sir? Because it is an independent input and output sir. So because of independent input and outputs the mutual information will be 0. If mutual information is 0 it is having independent input and outputs. Clear?